Okay, welcome to a very quick GIMP tutorial. Uh, I'm going to edit a fly-in entitled Grocery Delivery Popup.xcf. XCF is the extension you look for when you want to find a GIMP editable file, and um, I'm going to show you a few quick basics before I get into it a little deeper. This is your tool palette over on the left, and we're going to use the text tool and the move tool essentially in this in this tutorial. Over here, you can see what layers make up this this XCF file or this GIMP file. The bottom layer is entitled image. We can turn it off and on to see what it contains. Then box, delivery, and half off. The top two have a T for an icon indicating they contain editable text. So let's um, choose the text tool and let's say we want to make this 50% off or change it to 50% off. We don't want to highlight the whole thing. The reason is for some reason, GIMP contains font information before the first character. So if I do it and we go 50%, you can see that it's the wrong font. So I'm going to undo, and that's Command-Z on a Mac or Control-Z on a Windows computer. So let's select everything but the first letter that we want to change and go 50%, and it retains the font information. Now we go back, delete the one, because we really don't want to give them 150% off. Um, now you can see it's a little large, it's crowding this box a little bit, it's a little tight. So I'm going to triple click, um, two clicks selects a word, three clicks selects a line. And I'm going to reduce it a few points. Let's say we want to change the color, we want to change to 50% off in red. So you can see it's currently white. We'll click this um, palette and choose red and go OK. Okay, I'm going to click the Move tool and go to the bottom layer just to preview this and see how it looks. Looks good. 50% off should probably drop down a little bit, so I'm selecting that layer. I'm selecting the text and dropping it down a little bit. There we go. Now, let's change delivery on first order to 50% off uh, your next purchase. So again, I choose the Text tool. I want to go to the Delivery text. I don't want to select it all because it will use the font information from before that first character, so I'm going to select everything else and go your return next purchase. Sorry, that was another return in there. And now I'm going to delete this first letter and voila. The other thing you can do is you can adjust your line spacing and your letter spacing. You do that over here. Um, th we're, we're currently on layers. Uh, that's the layers icon, but now we want to go to this little slider, and that is tool options, and that's where we can adjust the line spacing or character sp um, letter spacing. And keep in mind that zero is always the default, usually the one you want to go with. So there you go. And if we want to move that one down, down or around, you click the Move tool, go back to your layers. We've got the right layer selected. Now click on it with the Move tool, and you can move it to your heart's content. And those are the basics of GIMP for editing fly-ins.